What's up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play West of Loathing with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony. This is West of Loathing. And last time we were doing a lot of El Vibrato stuff, as noted by this whole deal. I just noticed this map. <laughs> I think I've like, you know, seen it, but it didn't occur to me that that could actually be a map of relevant locations. Um, so that would be... If that's the curious well and cops, then that's, um... Curious well. Curious... Oh, no, it's not. Because that goes down. So what are those? This might not correspond to the actual map. Unless this is, um... I wish it would stop doing that. This spot right here. So. I'm confused. Oh well. Um, what we're gonna do now is go back to the circus because I wanna see if we've advanced that quest at all. I don't remember what it was. I know it had something to do with clowns and cows. And I feel like we have to bring some resources to some guy. Uh, you rein your horse upon hearing a rattle of bones and clanking of chains nearby with a hiss. A skeletal figure scuttles toward you. What the hell is that? It's a little confusing to look at. Instead of a skull, it has another smaller skeleton growing out of the top of its spine. It also has a manacle locked around one of its ankles, trailing a length of broken chain. It looks like it escaped from somewhere. Is that real? How much have I been drinking? I see it too. Uh, it's not, so not that much. Uh, fight it, or I mean them. Let Alice handle it. Surrender or frighten them away. Horn swoggling. I obviously I want to do the uh, stat check version, but I also want to see this thing. So we're gonna fight it. Okay, <laughs> I like it. Um, yeah, just one shot should finish that off. Weird. It's a weirdly deformed bone. Alice surveys the scene and jots down some notes in her little notebook. Okay. Now, we're gonna enter the circus. I, I feel like we've already um, basically finished everything there was to do here. I know like, Wait, what's this? Science is condemned. Until further notice, we encourage anyone suffering from horse bites to consult the doctor. Like, the sideshow had a whole thing, but I don't know if we actually finished. Can we free these people? Hello again, Janet. Hello again, uh, Dogen. Good to see you. Can I ask a question? Certainly. How are you feeling? Uh, how did this happen? Well, it was nice to meet you. All right. This one was the one that, like, had the most weird stuff going on with it. I don't know, I think it was the, the, the middle guy. Do you blink? Or wink, I guess? I guess not. Alright. Like, he actually answered some of our questions. Were you born like this? I'd rather not discuss it. Um, your knees must be a wreck. Surgery was necessary. Uh, why are you in a sideshow? I have a contract. All right. These creepy eggs. There was one for me, I recall. All right. So I don't think there's anything left to do in the sideshow. I think if we want to get to the uh, guy I'm trying to talk to, we have to go through the main stage. Hello. Yeah. Is there anything? It's the same map. It's just not uh, marked. So I think it's that part of the map where the river, where we had to build the bridges. I have limited reserves of both time and patience, so I recommend you waste neither one. Checked out that tannery you mentioned. Hey, look. Okay. Uh, did you know? Did you now? And what did you discover? A bunch of animated cow hides plus a whole cow skeleton with leather just sort of draped over it. 
They were able to animate the leather? That's interesting, though not wholly unexpected. There's more to it. Uh, there was a, there was leather there that wasn't possessed, and we'd know if they could animate any old leather because of people's hats and stuff, so I think it's just untanned hides. Well, now that is information worth knowing. How nice it is when an arrangement works out to mutual benefit. We got 250 meat. There's more where that came from, if you could tell me more about this tanning place. There's a plant called Cowsbane. I've killed some cows if you're interested in bounties, and that's all for now. Uh, there's a plant called Cowsbane. Uh, they use it in tanning leather. Tanning leather, apparently the cows hate it and attack anyone growing it. Fascinating. This is valuable information indeed. If you can provide me with a sample or even a supply, uh, I will reward you handsomely. We're going to give him the cow's bane seeds. You hesitate. Barnaby Bob will surely give you a lot of meat for these seeds, but depending on your priorities, there might be better uses for them. Uh, okay, don't give him the seeds. I've killed some cows if you're interested in the bounties. Um, we'll just give him, I guess, everything we've got. All right. So I know we won the ticket to the main show, but is there anything else we can win? What's the game? Uh, what's the prize? Ordinarily, it would be a ticket to, ooh, okay, I think it changed. Um, Barnaby Bob, stage show, but the last performance for the day is already over. Fear not, I'm sure I can find something more suitable back here. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Might just get some random stuff. We'll see. Um, we're gonna shoot like a jaguar. He hands you a large and reasonably well-made stuffed toy cat. Toy stuffed cat. It's a stuffed animal. Ooh, wait. Is that... Is that all we need? I wonder if he gives you... No. Um... Like, wait, if if that's the stuffed animal we need for a quest, I just, what else could he keep giving us? I don't, uh, just another one. Okay, what about like, I guess we just sell that one. What's this? Oops. Um, yeah, of course. An owl? I wonder if we need to give her a specific one, or if, like, I don't know. Does she... These might not even be the right stuffed animals. This seems weird. But we'll keep doing it. A bear? Um, I'm good. If nothing else, we'll have a whole set of them. Though, maybe they're equipable. Uh, give it a second to stop lagging. All right. Hey, they are. Okay, that makes sense. So these probably aren't what we have to give her, but I think we finally beat the stat check for the other lady. I don't even remember what it was. This stuffed bear is not what you'd call quality, but it's about the best you'll ever get from a carnival game. Nice job. This item goes in your offhand. It's four muscle and four melee damage. Four mysticality, four spell, four moxie. And this is probably the same. Yeah, okay. We might as well check what she wants. No thanks. Um, okay, we talked to the guy. We gave him some information. We didn't give him our uh, our seeds. Whatever kind of seeds those were. Cowsbane? Let's sort by alphabetical here. I, I don't see it. S? Or like, packet of cows, hey, okay. This is a packet of cows man sees. There wasn't much call for them in the past, but nowadays they're deer. Okay. 
We might as well head back to Frisco. This is going to be a long one. I'm going to take a drink of some coffee. Hmm. You see a plume of smoke rising over the trees to the north of you. Nudge Taffy in that direction and find a cozy looking cabin nestled in the copse of pines. The ground outside is sparkly and rainbow tinted, a telltale side effect of the practice of a, the jeweler's trade. You discovered a new map location, jeweler's cabin. Check it out now. I've been wanting to get some uh, locations up in that area. I was pointing with my mouse and then I realized it's not visible. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, five XP, nine XP. Am I still? I'm not automatically spending XP. And we have quite a bit here. Um, I don't know what we need, so I'm gonna wait a bit. This would probably be pretty useful, but I feel like we might need Hornswoggle in five for something. Or just boosting our uh, main stats uh, for this final quest that we're on could be useful. So we're gonna wait on that. This is a goblin's bed, maybe? <laughs> oh, hello, a customer. Why, hello, welcome to Master Gerald's Jewelry Shop. Howdy, are you Master Gerald? Oh no, Master Gerald is back there at his workbench. I'm just his assistant and translator. A goblin jewelsmith? You betting your britches, Sonny, and not forgetting it. Well, uh, he says that's right, the finest jeweler in the territory. Well, what do you know? I don't see anything on display, though. Master Gerald only does bespoke work. If you bring in a sufficiently valuable gemstone, he'll craft it into a fine ring for you for a fee. No trash rocks. Well, here's what I've got. We can get an... We can use our effluvious emerald, our cool sapphire, or our unbreakable ruby, or we could take our leave. Um, you know, it seems like this is what you do with these. I thought these were just sellable items, and I'm glad I didn't sell them. Let's do it. Unbreakable ruby ring. We'll see what it does. Plus seven armor. Uh, I'm not going to spend another thousand to finish that up. Can I talk to you? No. All right. That was less exciting than it could have been. Keep going to Frisco. You're mute. You're ambushed by a cow who was hiding behind a nearby billboard. Big billboard, big cow. Attack it. Um, we should be able to just fan hammer it down. Yep. By a lot. 308 meat, that's almost as much as we just spent. That's pretty good. Uh, some, some more tongues to sell, some more other stuff to sell, and we skinned it because we have that knife that apparently we don't have to have equipped at all times. Ugh. All right, follow these train tracks. I think, yeah, we go across the bridge, then we have to climb down. Go over. It's not a maze, but I'm lost. Okay. I think we got it. We should be able to oh, climb down here. And then this is what we're looking for. All right. This lady? We need... Oh, okay. I need horn swoggling five, so we can get that now. Lie to her. Uh, lady, I don't think you understand the serious of seriousness of this situation. If Norton gets away with this, his power in Frisco will be limitless. The city council won't be able to block his horrible new tax increases. Tax increases, for instance? Well, for start, he's demanding a 4,000% price hike on yarn. She gasps, outraged, that villain. We must subdue him immediately. Cool, I'll shout when I'm ready for you. All right. We got everyone else. We're going to check if this girl wants these specific stuffed animals we've got. This girl is peering out the window of the train, clearly bored out of her mind. Ooh, okay. We can offer her. There's... Uh-oh. Um... 
How about this big teddy bear? Wow, she's great. She takes the bear and gives it a big hug. Okay, mister, say the word and we'll show that jerk what for. Awesome. Okay. Well, that was easy. Confront Norton. He pound on the door to the locomotive or engine car or cab or whatever. Open up, Norton. No. All right, then I'm coming in. Oh, yeah? You and what army, tough guy? You glance back at the passengers. Uh, me and this army. At least three passengers. I'll, uh, just me, you crazy old bastard. I'll get back to you on that. Um... Well, we got every passenger, so me and this army. Apparently, we only needed three of them. You and the passengers break down the door very impressively, though it would have been even better if you had some torches and those old-fashioned rakes. Norton has backed up into the corner of the engineer's compartment next to the engineer who looks over his shoulder at you and shrugs. So-called Emperor Norton, you're under arrest for the crime of being a total ass. That's not illegal. It is when I'm in town. Also, you stole a train, and that is illegal. Uh, everybody grab him, except you, Mr. Engineer. I can see you're busy driving the train. Right. Actually, if you could turn around and head back to Frisco at the next station, that'd be great. No problem. Ugh, ow. Let go. This isn't over. You haven't heard the last of me. Tell it to the judge, Norton. <laughs> the prison judge. Uh, all right. So now, you did it. Thanks, boss. No problem. We got the track laid right up. To the station now, the first ever cross-territory railroad, thanks to the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company, and principally you, you did a real good job, Dogan and Pony. Aw shucks, don't mention it. Talk to your partner, we made it, we got all the way west, sure did, looks like we're in the home stretch now. Home stretch? Heck, there's always one last quest, you know that. Ah, right. So we're like, right near the end game. There's still tons to do. Of course. Oh, whoa, what's this? Wait, looks like somebody on the train just uh, got a job as the projectionist. Would you like to watch this movie? It's free because movies have only recently been invented and nobody has figured out that they can charge for them yet. Note, doing this will not change anything about the world or your character. When the cutscene is over, you'll still be right here and you can keep playing if you want. Okay, um, not just yet. That's cool, though. So I think we're done. There's more to do, and we will keep doing it. But... We can watch the cutscene. Uh... What can you tell me about Frisco? Oh, it's a fine town, fellow named Samson Frisco. Founded it way back when the mines first opened out this way and everyone caught the fever. Mining fever? Yep, the kind you get from breathing too much dirt. Frisco was a doctor, you see? Ah, gotcha. Um... Bye-bye. Oh well. Let's watch it. Some folks say endings don't matter. But other folks, they like to know how things turn out. The consequences of their actions, like. With the trains running again, Frisco thrived. People came from all over to seek their fortune. But thanks to you, they didn't have to do it while on fire because some cow attacked their wagon. This is still the cutscene, by the way. We can watch it, uh, or we can press any key to continue. We're gonna watch it a little bit. I don't know where these people are all going. That is an angry chef. I wonder how far over this goes. Cause I thought that was, I thought this third house here was the end, but there's the fourth and fifth one. It probably goes all the way over. With the railroad completed and Norton ousted, <laughs> good, there's more. Uh, Smee found himself out of the job, but in, an op in of an opportunity. All right. After being elected mayor, he managed the growth and infrastructure of Frisco with compassion and pragmatism. In 1944, Frisco was named the most reasonable city by the Tuesday Evening Post. Oh, it keeps going. Okay. Good for him. All right. Dissatisfied with the thought of returning to her old life in Boring Springs, Doc Alice opened a free clinic in Frisco and lived out the rest of her days as a practicing doctor. Frisco's loose moral atmosphere and the opening of a mercury mine was a ways down the peninsula. Uh, oh. The opening of a mercury mine a ways down the peninsula meant she stayed 
Too busy to worry much most days. The clinic was so important to Frisco's eventual counterculture movement that a popular song was written about it. The refrain was, you can get rid of anything you want at Alice's clinic. The heck. That's a joke. Okay. Achievement unlocked. What's up, Doc? I, just, I can't get over that, that joke. Of course, if you, if you don't know, that's uh, a reference to Arlo Guthrie's Alice's Restaurant, where you can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. After she finished getting the bakery boys up and running, Luis moved to Frisco and opened her own shop specializing in artisan breads and pies. So we're just getting a nice overlook of everything that we did throughout the game. I think we could, my guess is we could do whatever we want after this and come back and learn more about what's going on. Thanks to your assistance, Hobart Buppert got the photography bug, or should we say the photography owl. Anyway, he opened up an art gallery so the citizens of Frisco would never again have to suffer from the inability to see pictures of owl skeletons whenever they wanted. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Kurtz left the fort and set up shop in Frisco. His cult uh, fitness group <coughs> skyrocketed in popularity. The group, uh, the growth was entirely due to word of mouth because the first rule of Kurtz fit is that you cannot stop talking about Kurtz fit. Kurtz still it hurts. No Kurtz pain, no Kurtz gain. <laughs> uh. All right. With your help, the professor gained enough knowledge about Elverbata technology to start building his own. He opened a very small, a very successful consumer technology store in Frisco, and for decades, people spent all their time staring at little computers in their hands instead of talking to one another. <laughs> I kind of feel bad that we never got the uh, the cactus guy. Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo Bill retired from the killing trade and made it a, made a killing opening up a restaurant in Frisco. Buffalo, 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 Wild, Wild, Wild Wings. All right. He solved all of Breadwood's problems. With the increase in morale and civic resources, they were able to clear the weeds from the, ra from the road and fix the well and the broken hitching post. There was even enough left over to give the mayor's office a new coat of paint, refresh the facade on the buttery biscuit, and add a second story to the bunkhouse. They even managed to get that horse into rehab. That's all fixed up. How nice. Oh, look at him. Not wandering around. Hiccuping. Chuck continued to run his blood and breakfast without incident, accident, scandal, or allegation for many years. <laughs> okay. You won four of the reenactment scenarios at Fort Memoriam. They still talk about you. I thought there were only four. If there's more, I want to know about it. Yeah, he was really good at this game. With your help, Roy Bean's Jelly Bean Museum became the talk of the town. Well, first they had to build a town nearby, but once they did, hooey! <laughs> There's a lot of these. I didn't expect it. Dirtwater became, relatively speaking, a thriving metropolis thanks to your efforts as the commerce ambassador and all-around helpful stranger. The once sleepy town became a shining oasis in a barren land. Every man, woman, and child in the town knew your name. They even put up a little plaque with your name on it in your old room at the Jewel. I want to see my room with the plaque. Are they not going to show me that? What about the band? Do we get to see them? Did we finish that or are there more? As for you, after your adventure, you settled in Frisco and bought a very long, very narrow house. You filled it with souvenirs of your exploits and started an antique hat rack collection. When you left home, you told Rufus you wanted to help people. Over the course of your adventure, you helped 55 people. You weren't whistling Dixie when you declared your intentions. If you had been Catholic, they definitely would have been, you would have, they definitely would have sainted you if you had asked. But you wouldn't have asked because you wouldn't want to be any trouble. This is nice. 
I feel like we missed out on some hats, potentially. So this is just a, I, I'm guessing a majority of side activities had collectible hats and we missed out on like the six in the middle there. But we can always go back for more. In 1906, all of the remaining cows in the west were simultaneously activated by some kind of signal from hell. They thundered east, forming a gigantic single-minded herd. Led by the infernal sadist Duke Bobicus, the cow army thundered east toward dirt water. Okay, we did not finish this quest. I realize that now. We'll do that next time. Fortunately, a gang of rodeo clowns swept in at the oh, okay, at the last minute and slaughtered the herd just before it reached Dirtwater. Unfortunately, all the townsfolk of Dirtwater had a hard time sleeping for pretty much the rest of their lives. Seriously, it was a grisly sight. We have something that we could do with that cow's bane. 420 years later, deep beneath the ground, ancient machines silently stopped doing the things they were built to do. It's probably fine. You and everybody you know are dead by then, and most of the humanity has moved to space. Still, though, it's a shame about the planet. There were some cool bars there. So we didn't finish this. I wish I had waited to do these. I like what we've seen, but I don't like the things that are telling me I missed out on stuff. Thank you for playing. The credits of Loathing. Zach Johnson, uh, design art and writing. Victor Thompson, engine programming. Riff Connor, writing and design. West Cleveland Animation. Ryan Ike, music and sound. Chris Moyer, tools programming. Kevin Simmons, production business, QA, and design. Extra special thanks to, uh, I hope there's not too many of these, Dan Bob, Superhuman QA, Emily Morganti, Public Relations, Duncan Robson, Trailers, Yurik TRB, Botany Consultation, Josh Lee, Technical Consultation, Brad Johnson, Unity Proof of Concept, Chelsea Greenwood, Whistling, Elise Cates, Additional Sound and VO, Mr. Lieutenant Time Bonkers, still great, special thanks to... Jim Crawford, Jake Rodkin, Chris Remo, Aaron Ash, Steve. I'm not going to read all these. I'm sorry. Thanks at the all the folks at Indie Mega Booth, but in particular those four, all of our families and friends that we've missed so very much these past few years. Everyone who played the demo of PAX, Indiecade, etc., and give us your great feedback. Beta testers. I'm just looking at them. Okay. Oh, there's more. A lot of beta testers. The end. How sweet. If you've enjoyed West of Loathing, you might also enjoy our free browser-based game, The Kingdom of Loathing, on the internet at www.kingdomofloathing.com. If you've enjoyed this series at all, if you've thought any of it was funny at all, you should check out this game. It's a super fun game. I played it for several years, like daily, and absolutely loved it. I kind of fell off the wagon a while ago. And uh, luckily, West of Loathing had wagons for me to get back onto. Yeah, play it. It's fun. And while thematically very different, the humor is, I'd say, even better than this game. Um... I'm going to say that that's all for now, but thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video in this series, click that like button, subscribe. If you want to see us finish off what we can in this game, I might do more runs in the future to finish off the achievements. We've got six out of 23. We finished the game with Doc Alice, so we'll probably fire it up again with a different companion. But I'll see you next time.